Now I'd like to welcome the Reverend Dr. Teresa Cooley and Jennifer Ordstrom who are here with us on an important talk on environmental justice for Commit to Respond. My name is Teresa Cooley and I am the Program and Strategy Officer for the UUA. And together with Brock Leach, I'm one of the co-founders of Commit to Respond. My name is Jennifer Nordstrom, and I'm a member of the UU Young Adults for Climate Justice, the UU Environmental Justice Collaboratory, and I helped organize Commit to Respond. I'm also the Interim Minister at Third Unitarian Church of Chicago. Commit to Respond represents a dramatically new kind of collaboration among Unitarian Universalists. Nine UU organizations are sponsors and active designers of our process. More than 200 organizations and faith groups are endorsers, and more than 3,200 people are members. Can you wave your hand if you're a member of Commit to Respond? All right. From the beginning, we felt called to emphasize the need for this to be collaborative and collective action, to conduct our work from a theological and spiritual center, and to ground it as justice work emphasizing the impact of climate change on vulnerable peoples and communities. Commit to Respond is asking us to make bigger commitments than changing our light bulbs or even bicycling to work. It's asking how we can join a movement for climate justice and to build resilient and resistant communities. And it's asking us to do this together. As religious people, we're called to be ethical leaders with our re religious voice, we have the credibility to call people into moral action. In our worship, we build the strength to return again and again to this work when it gets difficult. And in our communities, we build the resilience in order to return to the work when we're either exhausted or despairing. But we're also called to be followers. Frontline affected communities have lessons to teach us about how we can be in solidarity with them in working for climate justice. Our role then is to listen, to learn, and to follow. A role that we'll all have a chance to act out fully on Saturday during our public witness event in partnership with Frontline First Nations and American Indian Nations. When we embarked on this work, we thought that we were calling others to action. But from the internal perspective of the UUA, it's also caused us to examine all of our practices and to dramatically increase our commitment to climate justice. For example, we diligently worked in our building design process on our new headquarters to achieve platinum lead status in our new headquarters. This GA is committed to being a zero waste event. Our staff is planning a partnership project with a community-based urban sanctuary. We're active partners with the Interfaith Center on Corporate Responsibility, whose purpose is to hold corporations accountable to communities impacted by climate change and other injustices. And still more is needed. Commit to Respond calls us to a deeper level of accountability. Creating this kind of environment requires encouragement, accountability, and compassion. In our UU culture, we often struggle to find the balance among these. Sometimes we lean so hard into accountability that it leaves no room for forgiveness. And sometimes we lean so far into encouragement that it leaves no room for accountability. We need to learn how to make mistakes well, and develop a practice of loving accountability which requires both spiritual growth and concrete skills. We need these tools in order to be allies in accountable relationships with frontline communities who are affected by climate change. We also need these for ourselves. Our difficulty with talking honestly about money and its relationship to our values has impeded our work towards climate justice. When the General Assembly voted last year overwhelmingly to divest from fossil fuels, we voted to align our money with our values. 
When the Unitarian Universalist Association sold the donated interest in mineral rights last fall, the UU Young Adults for Climate Justice, among others, expressed grave concern that this was profiting directly from taking more fossil fuels from the ground. We remain concerned that as an institution we participated in taking fossil fuels from the ground. We ask for more transparency and more dialogue about this issue and about how the Unitarian Universalist Association makes such decisions. I will admit that when the issue of the sale of our interest in mineral rights became such a flashpoint of concern, we in the administration were caught off guard. How could our commitment to climate justice be questioned? While we feel assured in this case that this sale did not result in more drilling, we now realize that we need to analyze all of our decisions more thoroughly through the lens of climate justice commitments and be more transparent about them. This issue raises even bigger questions about how we balance our financial needs with our stated values. We need to consider whether, as a movement, we are backing our values with our resources. Do we financially support the UUA's work for climate justice? Do we adequately support our own congregation's work for justice? And what are the consequences of our financial decisions? And to what justice work do those financial decisions obligate us? Just imagine how powerful we might be if our justice work was fully funded and if our resources were fully aligned with our values. We learn as we go, and we invite you to engage in your own value assessment in your congregation or community. There are many chances for you to learn more about Commit to Respond in our collective, interconnected environmental justice work. Please note the advertisement in your program book listing these opportunities. You'll have a chance both to learn and to contribute to the conversation. It's incredibly exciting to see the response to this initiative, and we hope that you will continue to engage with this extraordinary collaboration. Our work with Commit to Respond and other initiatives like it is only possible through the generous gifts of our congregations and friends. Together, we amplify Unitarian Universalism and our impact on the wider world. Thank you.